we are trying to verify this identity so what we'll do is what I like to do is rewrite my answer at the bottom mm -hmm. and then work my way down to it erase it here mm -hmm. all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is recognize that these two probably I'm, I'm kind of keeping an eye on this down here so I want to call this cosine 1 over cosine theta minus sine theta over cosine theta yeah. and then I have common denominator so that's 1 minus sine of theta all over cosine of theta mm -hmm. and that looks kind of nice but then I'm like well how am I gonna get from here to here yeah that's a little bit confusing so what I would do is think about multiplying this whenever I see something like this with that on the bottom I think oh can I do this on the top and bottom, one plus sine theta. After mm -hmm. all, that is what I want on the bottom. Okay. It's a little trick. The uh, more you do these, the more you see how that works. And then when I do that, I will I see that my answer will be. This is a difference of perfect squares, so that's going to be one uh, minus sine squared theta mm -hmm. all over cosine theta times one plus sine theta. Whoops, I didn't put squared there. Mm -hmm. And this, if you remember, sine squared plus cosine squared yeah. equals 1. So 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. So that means I've got cosine squared theta over cosine theta 1 plus sine theta. Mm -hmm. And now one of those will cancel. Oh, I see. And I'll end up with what I wanted. Okay, that makes sense.